Hi everybody, welcome to today's STEAM video. My name is Lindsay and I work at the Downtown Library, so next time you're in, if you see me, give me a big wave. Today for our STEAM video, we are going to be doing the S, the E, and the M of STEAM. So science, engineering, and math. Now can you tell me what this is? If you said a tube, you'd be right. But what does it do? Well, if I told you that this is a paper airplane, would you believe me? That's what we're going to make today. A tubular paper airplane. And I'll show you what you need to make this. First, you're going to need a one piece of paper, just a simple piece of paper. Mine is green, but you probably got some white paper at home. And try not to use construction paper. It might be a little too heavy for an airplane. But just regular printer paper works perfectly. You can see that mine's already folded a little bit because like any good scientist, I tried it once, it didn't work. So we'll have to try it again and change something. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a piece of tape and keep your grown-up handy. There is one tricky bit in here that you might need some grown-up help with. So to start, you're going to take your paper and put it so that the long side is on the top. Now if you think about dividing your paper into three parts, into thirds, so one, two, three, you're going to take your paper and fold it down one third of the way. And once you've done that fold, it doesn't have to be perfect, just about a third, you're going to push down on the paper and make a good crease so that it's nice and folded. So here's what mine looks like so far. Got one fold about a third of the way down. And the next thing you need to do is take the same corners you just folded and you're going to fold them one more time to the same place that you did before. So it's like a half of a third. And if you're really smart at math, you know what that fraction is. Okay, so now we have two folds. One, two. Next comes the tricky part. You are going to unfold the last fold that you made, just that one. And we're going to make this into a tube now. So if you just try and fold it into a tube right now, it's going to make a scrunchy potato shape and not really a very nice circle. So I have a trick for you. You take the folded side, put it down on the table, and push it against the edge of the table while you pull it down toward you. You're just going to curl it a little bit so you can do it back and forth a few times and that will curl your paper just a little bit. You can see mine's curled just a bit so that it will make a beautiful round circle shape when you're done. So for this part, this is where you might need to grab your grown-up. You can see on the inside is the folded part. And you're going to take one corner and fold it into inside the other fold so that it holds together. And I'll do that again. It's a little bit tricky to see. So I'll take one corner and put it inside the fold that you made. Just like that. You don't want to put too much inside, maybe one or two centimeters. Just enough so that it will hold together. And this is where you're going to need your tape. So, grab one little piece of tape, doesn't have to be big, just enough to hold your paper together. And I'm going to put this on the end that's not folded. So just a little piece of tape right there, so that when I let go, it stays together in a cylinder. 
All right, we're almost done. Last step. The folded part needs to go inside your airplane. So, I'm going to see where that crease is where you made the fold last time. You're going to start pushing that side into your airplane. And this is the tricky part, and I had to do it a few times before I really got the hang of it. So your grown-up might be able to help you with this, because if you do it too hard, you're going to smush your airplane. So you have to be kind of gentle. And once it's folded inside, you, whoopsie, there was my tape. There we go. Then you have got a beautiful cylinder or tube. Now, if you remember on my little white airplane, it had a little wing at the top. And the reason I made that little wing is so that when you throw the airplane, that wing helps it to stay stable. So instead of just wobbling all over the place and falling on the floor, it's going to spin kind of like if you have ever thrown a football. If you throw it the wrong way, it just goes blah, 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 and it falls down. But if you throw it the right way with the right spin, it can go really, really far. So it's the same idea with a tubular airplane. So, and it's come apart again. There we go. I'm gonna put one more piece of tape on this. Because I'm a scientist and if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So, on the not folded side, you're gonna take your scissors and snip about one or two centimeters in. Not all the way down, be careful, just a little snip, like that. And then you'll take one side and fold it out, like that. So now there is one little wing on my airplane. And I have seen some that have four wings, so a wing on each side, sort of, of the circle. And you can try that too. If you want, you can try it with one, see how it flies, and then try it again with four. See which one works better. Okay, we're almost ready to fly our airplane. So there is a little trick to it. When you throw the airplane, you're going to take it from the not folded side. So the side where you just cut your little wing. And when you throw it, you have to be gentle. So don't hold it really tightly or you'll squish it. You've got to hold it gently, and as you throw it, turn your hand just a little bit, turn your fingers. And it takes a bit of practice until you get it just right. But when you do, it's gonna be so much fun. And another great thing you can do is, if you can go somewhere up high, like if you've got a balcony up on the second floor or something like that, and try throwing it from up high, you'll see that it will fly really, really far. So I hope you enjoy flying your paper airplanes and try out all different kinds of airplanes and see which one works the best and maybe have a contest with your family or your friends. Until next time, have fun, keep adventuring, keep exploring, keep trying new things, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye.